So we had one of the nicest falls that I can really remember, really warm and dry. So we figured we might as well load up some camping gear, take full advantage of this extended summer that we're having and go camping. Definitely gotta get out there and enjoy this weather before the monsoons hit in late November. All right, we got the bikes loaded up in the back of the mini trucks. We got them all gassed up, ready to roll. We got all our camping gear. We hit the road, it's a beautiful fall, sunny day. Just gotta stop and get some ice with the coolers and then into the hills with the mini bikes and mini trucks. Good times. Climbing a big hill here on the highway. I think my truck's only doing about 42. It is what it is, but we're not in any rush. There's a passing lane if someone wants to get around us. Almost to the top, another half mile will be over this uh, big hill. Yes, made it. There's something really nice about this time of year with all the leaves changing colors, the sun's getting a little lower in the sky, everything has a little bit more golden glow in the mornings and evenings. At this point, we decided to get off the main pavement and go do a little off-road into a really nice river spot. So these trucks are definitely not as smooth as a side-by-side off-road, but they always get you where you need to go. One thing I really like about the little Suzuki carry I have is it'll go 60 miles an hour down the highway, or you can creep along at 2 miles an hour on the trails. Definitely a nice dry cab with a good heater. You can still haul about 1,000 pounds of gravel in the bed. Overall, it's just a good, simple, solid, small 4x4 truck. Definitely fits my needs for hauling firewood and supplies and just getting out and exploring on a budget. It's always nice to get out in the forest and enjoy nature, but when you come across a true old growth stand of trees, it's definitely a spectacular sight. With the warm dry weather, the rivers have been really running low, so we're curious to see if we actually could spot any salmon. Managed to find a few down there. Most of the big crew of salmon start coming up it once the rains really start hitting for spawning season. After hanging out and enjoying the river for a while, we decided to head out and go find a good riding spot for the mini bikes. The day is getting a little bit later and we still had to find a good camping spot before it gets dark.
this is the kind of stuff that really just irritates me. People bringing garbage out here, kids are growing up, just leaving it out here. I'll pack this stuff out. I'm tired of people leaving this shit out here. Got a bit of a climb. Kick on the dip lock. So I get at least two dumb comments in every mini bike video I post where there's always got to be that guy. You know, why don't you get a real bike like a KTM instead of messing around with these little mini bikes are dumb. Basically, they're fun. They're fun little mini bikes. And actually, I have a real bike. I actually own a KTM. I just prefer to ride these things for stuff like this. They're fun to play around at camp. They're just for goofing around and uh, they're a blast. They're not a motorcycle. They're a mini bike. That's why I'm riding it. So we rode for about an hour or so on the mini bikes and had a blast. This gravel pit area was just a lot of fun on those big balloon tire bikes. The gravel was pretty thick and there was a lot of dust, but uh, had a lot of fun. So it's about time to pack up the mini bikes and the mini trucks and try to find camp before the sun goes down. That's good enough for me. We got the mini bikes all packed up, heading out into the sunset. We got about an hour drive on the highway until our next destination. Man, I'm not sure what kind of bugs are out here, but they're in full tilt. Just keep hearing them hitting the cab, and uh, every time I try to wash them, they're just like grease. There's those damn grease bugs. Barely see going into that sunshine, man. Bug attack. Yeah. <laughs> so many. That bus, <laughs> the city bus had so many on it. Oh, that windshield's giant. I'm sure it collected a few thousand on the way out here. <laughs> really Shit. working that one in, huh? All right. <laughs> So we got all those nasty bugs cleaned off our windshield so we can actually see where we're going. Andy knew of a really good spot to camp for the night down by a river. So we ended up heading back out of town and uh, going to check out the cool camp spot. So I want to clarify something. Last time I posted a night shot driving my mini truck, got a bunch of people that grilled me and thinking I was driving around with my high beams on. See that little blue light on the dash? That's not my high beam light indicator. That's my winch control light. It just says that I got power to my winch. 
and that's all it is. So uh, I figured before a bunch of people started grilling me, telling me what I am doing and not doing, I figured I might as well let you know it's not high beams, guys. It's my winch light. Damn, people throwing their trash all around. So you see this is kind of a reoccurring thing, picking up people's trash whenever you go to beautiful spots. I just don't get it, man. I don't understand why someone would go out to these spots because they clearly enjoy it, but then leave a bunch of beer cans and garbage around. Makes no sense to me. They're gonna ruin it for everyone. Well, how'd you sleep last night, man? It's all right. <laughs> Even though it didn't rain. It's still pretty wet. Stuff's still pretty damp, lots to do. Heard some critters across the river playing around last night. I don't know, they're swimming some type of little mammal in the water. A little otter or something. So after that beautiful tranquil morning along the river here, enjoyed some coffee and some breakfast, it's time to fire up the mini bikes and take them for a spin. It's all kinds of cool trails and stuff along the rivers here. Lots of fun times.
cool looking spot back here, but it's a shame people have to drop trash. One of the things out here, like picking up other people's sloppy messes. People are stupid. Litter, drink their drinks and throw them out here. Pack it in, pack it out. Not everybody's mom is riding with them. but I actually had a lot of driving on this thing before I came out on this trip. Get some snacking. Snacking. I'd like to give a big shout out to my good friend Hobo Dave for sharing all this music with us, all the music I use in this video. If you want to hear more of his music, you can go to a uh, link down below in the description to his Bandcamp account, maybe download an album from him, maybe even buy a shirt. All his shirts are homemade and uh, definitely got some character. Also, uh, there'll be a link below to his YouTube channel. My two personal favorite albums are 1985 and Suburban Wilderness. Definitely good albums, so uh, check them out. If you notice the skies in these clips, they look a little bit uh, foggy, things like that. It's actually wildfire smoke from fires up in BC and in eastern Washington. With this nice weather, we were getting stuck with some stale air, which made the whole uh, environment just a bit smoky and a little bit nastier for this trip. But all in all, we had a rad time. I think we did about 160, 170 miles with the mini trucks in two days and uh, not in any real rush to get anywhere, just enjoying our time. It's a lot of fun, so thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Not a 
Ghost, but the spirit be a man who they call Baba G came down on set.